Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes from the 2nd to the 3rd. So January 2nd, January 3rd. We're gonna get one of these, and then we're gonna we're gonna break into that deck. Healer of the ages. So this is some sort of healing that is going on, and it's it's internal healing. And maybe you already have, maybe you've already experienced this healing, and now it's time to, you know start on a new journey because the six that's that's heading in a different direction so there's been a lot of healing there's probably still some healing going on but we have a new journey starting okay whatever's happening is is definitely being brought to you from above it's it's like a wish being granted it's like he you know he's like i i hear you i hear you so it's like a prayer being answered. That's what I hear. Now I believe it. I do believe it. Second to the third for whoever this resonates with. I just did singles again. If you want to check that out for all signs, you know, the air, fire, water, and earth. from the second to the third Interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Wow. Ooh. Ha. <sighs> you have to make a call. You have to make a judgment call here. Okay, there's no doubt about it. Somebody has to make a judgment call. We have some a karmic situation here. We definitely have a karmic situation that needs closure because, you know, yesterday was about completion and closure, but it looks like somebody is still holding on. Somebody is still holding on and closure is needed. And it's like, I don't want to evolve. So somebody doesn't want to evolve. So somebody could be holding on. I don't know, maybe out of codependency reasons, there could be codependency issues here, whatever the case is, but there's a lot of uh, back and forth, ups and downs. You know, I think that somebody is wanting to communicate, but they can't, they can't for some reason, they may be trying to um, They just have fear. They have fear. They have fear of, of rejection, whoever this is. They don't dare to communicate. They, they have love to offer, but they don't dare to communicate. And it, it feels as though there's two people here. There is. There is. There is. There's two people here. And it looks like somebody is about to make a decision. Um, because the two of wands is reversed. It's like it's, the delays are over. It's, it's time. I don't want to be alone anymore. So somebody is deciding that they don't want to be alone anymore. And it's time to make a judgment call. It's time to make some sort of decision. Um, and it's, it's a choice between two. It is a choice between two. And one is the past and one is the future. Do you keep holding on to the past or do you move forward to the future? This is the same old story. It absolutely positively is. We have somebody here that has a, an, uh, uh, something coming into their lives that they have manifested. And it's a golden opportunity, and the only way that they'll be able to move forward is to stop focusing on the, the one that hurt them. Because we have somebody here that, you know, really, really hurt another individual, didn't, didn't care about their feelings at all came came flying into their life 
started a new journey with them, started, uh, you know, a life with them, and then left without closure. And now this other person has done a lot of healing. The other person has done a lot of healing and now has another opportunity for a passionate new beginning. But the only way that this person is going to be able to accept this person who wants them is they're going to have to they're going to have to give in a different direction. They're going to have to give in a different direction. Things have been halted. Things have been stalled. And I think that somebody has got some sort of awakening. The judgment card is an awakening. Somebody has had an awakening. And perhaps it's this person. This person. And they both they, both of these people. Hey, all of them have. We're all connected to this judgment card. All three people in this situation have had an, awa have had an awakening. They've come to some sort of epiphany. We have one person who doesn't want to let go, doesn't want somebody to move on, but they also can't communicate. They won't communicate and they're, they don't want to evolve and they don't want to um, put in any effort. But they, they have feelings and they have, they have love for this person. But because they can't see things in a positive light, this person is, isn't very positive. You know, they don't, they're not seeing things clearly. I mean, they're not. Even though they've been through some sort of awakening, they're not strong enough to... They're not. There's no strength. There's no courage. They're not strong enough to follow their heart. They're not. And, you know, if you're not, if you can't evolve, if you, you know, can't find your strength, if you're going to let fear get in the way, you're going to lose the opportunity because we have somebody else who really wants it. And this person has the strength. This person has the courage. And this person is no longer going to wait. If this person is going after what he wants, he sees that this person has a solid golden opportunity. He sees that this person is abundant. And I think that whoever this person is that, that has their shit together um, has a choice between two. Ha definitely has a choice between two. Um... And it looks like a decision is about to be made. You know, I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to be alone. And I have this passionate new opportunity. I have this passionate new opportunity in that which I've delayed. I've delayed accepting it. I've delayed, you know, going down that road. I've been back and forth, back and forth as to whether, you know, I should accept it. But I'm at the point where I'm stable. I'm secure. I'm comfortable with who I am. You know, and I know what I have to offer. And, I, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is a, uh, about to uh, make a, a serious decision. Okay, we're going to make it. Somebody is going to make a decision and make a judgment call. Um, and it looks like, you know, there's going to be some sort of, uh, I would say, reconciliation. This is a reconciliation. Um, you know, I think both of these people could be somebody that you've known before, you know, somebody that you know, it's, this is, I don't think this is somebody new coming in. I think, I mean, even if you've just started dating this person, it's somebody that you know already. I think that, you know, somebody is going to receive some sort of, uh, you know, call or text or message from somebody that says, Hey, that says, Hey, I, I, you know, I, I want to get together with you. I want to start something with you. I, you know, I, I'm looking for something stable. I'm looking for something solid. I'm looking for exactly what you have to offer. And then you're going to be faced with, you know, are you, are you ready? Are you ready to stop delaying? Because we, these are both delays. These are both delays and it's been delayed. This person has delayed, has delayed, has delayed because, you know, I think that, 
you know, perhaps there was a lack of closure with somebody else and there's fear of, you know, making that wrong decision. But I think we've come to the, the breaking point where, you know, this is, this is, it's time to wake up. It's time to smell the coffee or smell the roses, whatever. It's time to face the music. It's, it's, it's time to uh, live again. Okay, it's time for me to live again. It's time for me to come out of this stagnant period I've been in. It's time for me to to uh, stop pretending, because this is pretending that somebody's going to come and apologize. It's time for me to stop, you know, letting my fears of uh, abandonment hold me back. Um... So I feel like there's a decision being made to to go in a new direction. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's been delayed for quite some time, but we have a new passionate offer here with somebody that can take really good care of you, somebody that is strong, somebody that is um, a hard worker, somebody that is a leader. Okay, we have somebody that is a leader that is a go that is taking the lead. This person is deciding to take control. I'm going to do what I got to do. I am. This person's going to do what they got to do and they're making some he's he's looking at her. He is definitely looking at her. I can't That's the truth. That is that I I'm, I'm positive that this is the case. All right. <laughs> I know this is what's going on, just saying. So he's looking at her. He's looking at her. And um, he's looking at her stability. He's looking at, you know, who she is. I mean, she's she's a nurturer. She's dependable. She's reliable. She's responsible. And he that's what he wants. He's, he's, he's like, this is, a, this is like a husband. He's, he's, and this is like a wife. So... You know, we have, uh, this, this is husband-wife material. So I feel like we have some sort of decision that is being made to close something that somebody has held on to without the closure. You know, I don't, I don't need the, I, you don't, there's, even if there's not closure, even if there's not closure, it's like, I'm not going to pretend anymore. Somebody has been pretending, waiting, 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 waiting for something to, you know, emerge that from somebody that has no strength. I mean, we got somebody here. Yeah. They got a good heart, but they don't, that's all, that's, that's what they got. They got heart. They got heart, but they don't have strength. Not at this point, they don't. I'm sorry. There's no strength at this point. There's no strength at this point for this person over here. He doesn't... This person, you know... Their heart knows what they want, but they can't find the strength and the courage. There's no strength. There's no courage. There's no ability to face their fears. To be held accountable for their actions. This person is refusing to evolve. Refusing to... You know, allow blessings. This is blessings. It's reverse into their life. And that's it's, it's really sad. It is sad. It is sad. And this, this is not learning a lesson. The world card reverse. Refusing to learn a lesson and trying to escape. There's no shit. Trying to escape learning some sort of, and this is karma, a karmic lesson. So whatever it is what it is right and i'm not judging anybody i'm not i'm just saying we have somebody down here that you know doesn't want to be alone they aren't happy where they're at they know what they want they need to do they know what they want to do but they don't have the strength to do it therefore they're losing an opportunity the opportunity is no longer there it's no longer there and now we have this person who is has been delaying but has decided I don't want to be single anymore. I don't want to be single anymore. I don't. I don't. So we have this other person that is 
making some sort of offer and it looks like it's probably going to be I think it's going to be accepted and that's my take on that one uh, but we're going to get some more cards there's been a huge delay there's been a delay delay in communication whoever this person is that's coming in that sees this person's stability and security and what they have to offer this person isn't going to just come and go they want us they want they, they don't want that they're looking for something long term yeah this person is both of these people have done a lot of healing they've, they've healed from some situation for sure and they both well everybody probably is releasing some sort of judgment from the past. This is a release. Releasing something from the past that has delayed a coming together. Something, there's, you know how we all judge situations incorrectly. They're releasing some past judgment. I mean, that's what this is. Somebody is releasing a past judgment about a person. I think these two people have known each other for a while. I do. I think this one, ha I think these people have all known each other for a while. And, you know, somebody may have made a wrong judgment in the past or made a wrong decision. And now they, they're releasing that past judgment. Because they want this. They want this. They want this stability. They want this abundance. They want this happy home. They want this commitment. Somebody wants a commitment now. And they, and I don't think they... I think before they, they were trying to protect themselves and they're, they're releasing the need to protect themselves. Now it's like they want to protect you. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Oh. Oh, God. Marriage. This could absolutely lead to marriage. This is the marriage card. It really is. Hair font. This is like, this is, this is the commitment card. <sighs> when we've, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. This person, and this person's watching. This person is watching and they're not happy that, We got somebody here that is watching somebody evolve. They're watching somebody let them go. They're watching somebody release. And they're also watching somebody else come in and take their golden opportunity. And it really wasn't their golden opportunity because they didn't commit. So we have somebody else that is coming in to commit. And, uh, you know, this could even, this could lead to a really, whoever this new person is, there's some sort of uh, new commitment coming. There's a new commitment coming. And the past is being released. The past judgments, the past period. The, the judgment is the past. The past is being released. And I think the past is over here. I think the past is over here. And I think the past isn't happy. So, I don't know what this is, but it looks as though we have somebody that has made a decision to commit to somebody else. Yeah. And it's it's brought it's brought directly from heaven. This new opportunity is a gift. It's a gift. It's a gift from above. <clears throat> and that's what I have for today. Hopefully this reading is for you. <laughs>